Hello everyone. In this video, I'll be demonstrating this division sum that is mentioned on the paper. This particular sum has been requested by one of the subscribers. Normally, uh, this kind of division sum where we have a three digit divisor is not covered in my abacus course. But uh, since the subscriber is requested, I'll try and demonstrate it here. This can definitely be done with the use of the abacus. There's no doubt about that. Division can be done. Uh, this kind of division actually is better to be done with uh, the reduction method first. If we are using a pen and paper, we can reduce the two numerator and the denominator by some common factor and then do the final division on the abacus. But uh, let's consider that we don't have the facility of uh, pen and paper to use and we are supposed to do this division entirely on the abacus. Okay, so let's start with the division. What I'll do as, as we know that for division, we need to be very well versed with the subtraction formula. All the subtraction formula we need to be very uh, we have need to have good practice of all those subtraction formula. Okay, so once we are done with that, we can do this kind of division very easily on the abacus. As we all know in my previous division videos, I've already mentioned that we take two sets on the abacus. One is the main answer set where this with this becomes the units place of our answer. So this is the region where we have will have our final answer and the question set that is the number to be divided is to be taken on the abacus as well okay so this i'll consider as the units place of the question set so since we have a four digit no uh, dividend number that is 9812 is a four digit number it will start from the thousands place of that question set okay this is our units place tens place, hundreds place and thousands place. So I'll take nine, eight, one, two in this fashion. Okay. And since the divisor is also a three digit number in this case, what happens is we'll consider the first three digits of the question set. So first three digits. So this, this and this 981 is the number that we'll first consider. Since this number ends on the tens place of the question set, what happens with our answer will also start on the tens place of the answer set. So this is our tens place of the answer set. So our answer will be starting on this particular rod. Now let's start. What happens? We have uh, the divisor as 196. Let's assume that we don't know the table of 196 or any multiple of 196 and we are supposed to do it directly. So it's in, it's easier to do it uh, immediately. We can start immediately without worrying about the multiples of 196. I'll take one on the answer set here on the tens place and then subtract 196 from this 981. So I'll subtract 196 now. One, uh, one for nine I'm doing plus one minus 10 and for subtracting six I'll do plus four minus 10. Okay, so I've sub taken one on the tens place of the answer set and then subtracted 196 from this initial 981 number. Okay, the first three digits of the question set. Then I'll take, uh, since we have a number larger than 196 still on the same three digits, I'll take one more bead on the answer set, the tens place of the answer set and then subtract 196 again from this. So 190 six okay i have done it twice now still we have a number which is larger than 196 on the same three rods okay so i'll take one more bead on the tens place of the answer set again subtract 196 from these three rods so 1 90 and 6 i have subtracted the 196 the third time still we have a number which is larger than 196 we have the number 300 and 93 still on the same three rods so we can subtract 196 again i'll take one more bead on the tens place of the answer set subtract 196 again 190 and for subtracting six here i'll do plus four minus 10 okay now we have the number 197 on this uh, the same three rods of the 
question set so we can subtract 196 one more time on this from these three rods okay so we'll i'll add one on this uh, tens place of the answer set again for adding one it will be plus five minus four and then subtract 196 from these rods 190 and six now we can move to the next rod since we have only 12 left here what happens is we can stop here and keep this as the remainder okay so the answer that we have is 5050 as our quotient that is the main answer and 12 as our remainder in case we need to find a decimal answer we can proceed further we can use these further rods and proceed with our division uh, i'll just show you a, a few steps ahead if we, are, we don't want a decimal answer, we can stop here with the quotient as 50 and remainder as 12. Suppose we are to find uh, answer up to two digits decimal. Okay, decimal places up to two digits. So let, what we'll do is we have the 12 here. We proceed one place uh, further where the number becomes 120 here. It is still smaller than our divisor 196. So we move one place even further here down. And we have the number 1200 on uh, with us and from this we need to subtract 196 repeatedly and keep adding the uh, answer on this rod since we are re we have reached a place which is two digits beyond the units place the answer will also be on the rod which is two digits beyond the units place of the answer so this this is the rod will will take the uh, answer bead so I'll add one here. This one I'll consider this as uh, added here. And I'll subtract 196 from this. So suppose I'm subtracting this one. Sorry, 196 is to be subtracted from this. 12, uh, 